Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 2, Episode 1. I am Bone Canoe 86 Now, the first Sims game came out in 2000. I played it for the first time the, ne the following year, in 2001, and became immediately hooked. Now, The Sims 2 came out in 2004, and I was thinking at the time, how could they make a perfect game even better? But The Sims 2 managed to do just that, made a perfect game even better. And now I think The Sims is the largest selling computer game franchise in history. Alright, there's going to be a little bit of an intro movie here showing um, things that can actually happen in the game. Yes, this isn't like a lot of other intro movies where it's just a bunch of uh, stuff being thrown on the screen. All these things, all these images could be from real gameplay Except the helicopter, I'm not sure what that is, I've never seen that in the game. But other than that, you know, if you uh, really work on the fancy camera angles, you can get all of these shots. So, what is Sims 2, you might ask? Well, you probably don't ask, because you probably uh, already heard of this game. But if you don't, it's a simulation game where you um, create people, create houses for them to live in, and then you go about the process of creating their lives. You control every aspect of their lives, and you're responsible for filling their needs. Now, um, one unique thing about The Sims and The Sims 2 is that a lot of other games made by Maxis, such as SimCity, there is actually no victory condition. You can't technically win or lose The Sims 2. So how do you measure your progress? Well, you measure it by um, the uh, parameters you set. If your people are doing better, you're doing better. If they're doing worse, then that's not good. Now there are three default towns you can choose from to start. I like to go to Veronaville because I think it's the most pretty. Really no uh, more reason than that. It has a little audio auto story based on the Romeo and Juliet saga, but um, I'm not going to pay too much attention to it because it's not strictly relevant to what we're going to do. But, um, yeah, what you do is, um, create a family and run their lives. And your success is only based on how well you think they're doing. Now, you might be thinking, well, if you can't win this game, why play it? And I say, because it's really, really fun. Now, you might also be asking, how do you know when you're done? Well, since this is probably one of the most open-ended games ever made, you're never sure, you're never exactly done. But what I plan to do is to build, or is to make a husband and wife pair, move them into a house, and then have them raise a family so you can see the entire life cycle of a sim. And you can also see sims moving up in their job, making friends, learning new skills, and meeting their life aspirations. As you can see, this is Veronaville. It's very large. It's a lot larger than the neighborhoods in the original Sims. And there's not much in it because I just recently reinstalled The Sims 2 on my computer. So, we're going to go to create a new family. There's always a few default families that you can move in, but we're going to start from scratch here. Alright. 
So basically, in the first Sims, there were only two types of people, adults and children. Now in The Sims 2, you not only have adults and children, but you have elderly, teenagers, and toddlers. And the one thing that I believe makes this a hundred times better than the original Sims is aging. People will actually get older in this game and it really gives it more of a realism and more something to strive for when um, because people are growing up. So you go over here to create a new person. I'm probably not going to keep the name Benson. I'm probably just going to use it as a placeholder and it gives you a random person and you can start generating your people and that's precisely what I'm going to do on the next episode I'm very excited about doing this so stay tuned for episode 2 coming very soon so long everyone